Thank you everybody for joining. I'm sure some more folks will come in um, as we get going here. But um, as Charlie said, my name is Colin Schmidt. I'm a business development manager for GridPoint. Um, we'll go into a little bit about who GridPoint is, um, but uh, we'll, we'll kind of go through the whole agenda here, which is, you know, given a, a background of the program itself, which is uh, sponsored by the city of Palo Alto utilities. Uh, like I said, we'll go into grid point, um, some of the equipment that you would receive the qualified businesses would receive, um, the benefits of that equipment and the service. And then, you know, finally we get into how businesses can actually qualify for this program. Um, and we'll take about 10 minutes at the end to, to do a little Q and A. Um, so uh, just to give you a background on this program, so Palo Alto Utility is offering this program um, to small and medium businesses in the city of Palo Alto, uh, really as a way to help businesses recover from the COVID-19 pandemic um, through what's being, being called the Business Advantage Program. Um, and what the program offers is what's called an energy management system, which again, we'll go into a little bit further, uh, can save about 10% on your utility bills. Um, and they're also offering uh, what's called a MERV-13, a high efficiency air filter to try to improve indoor air quality. Um, so this again is a completely free program really as a way to help businesses save some money and, and um, you know, get back on their feet after a, a rest, rough year and a half that we've had. Um, so that is why this, this program is being offered um, right now. Kind of uh, snapshot into where we are and where we started. This program launched in April of this year, um, and it does run technically until 2023, but there is um, limited funds for the program. So kind of whichever comes first until the funds are used up or until the program is, is, is ended. Um, right now, we have just about 80, 80 small and local businesses that have signed up for our program. Um, really, this is any small and medium business in Palo Alto is eligible. Um, there are you know, certain qualifications uh, that we can go into, but for the most part, if you have a thermostat, we want to hear from you. Um, and we've already had a number of folks you know, get installed and they're already starting to see savings. Um, you know, quoted here by a, a nice restaurant owner that I went to down in, uh, in Cal Lab there. Um, she actually wanted to open the business in, excuse me, to install Gridpoint in uh, Redwood City in Mountain View, but they don't offer the, the program there. It's only with Palo Alto. So, um, so far, so good. And, and, you know, we're happy to help some more businesses sign up for this as well. So just to give you a background on GridPoint, uh, GridPoint has been around since 2003, and our mission is to enable the world's transition to an efficient and sustainable future. And so far, we've been successful in helping over about 15,000 businesses save almost half a billion dollars in energy costs and eliminate over 5 billion pounds of CO2 from going in the atmosphere. And we really do that by ingesting billions of facility data points to develop you know, best practices and algorithms um, that allow our equipment to maximize the efficiency on site and save energy and ultimately save money. Um, so our mission and our, our expertise was really aligned with the City of Palo Alto Utilities. Um, and now we are partnering to, to bring GridPoint to Palo Alto, really to help the small, business, small businesses and the community, again, become more efficient and become more sustainable. So the GridPoint technology um, is a platform and what, what businesses would really be receiving is kind of a four-part solution. We think of it as kind of a four-part uh, four part system here. Uh, what we will do is install uh, smart thermostats and sensors, and those collect data on temperatures, uh, schedules, HVAC runtime, and other data points that play into your building's efficiency. And that data gets fed into uh, what's called a controller. And this is really like an iPad, small iPad type device that would you know, sit in a manager's office or something. Um, and this automatically tells your HVAC system what to do to be most efficient. And that's really you know, the brains of the operation. Um, and it does enable both local and remote management of your, of your equipment right from that controller. Um, but all the same controls that you can do on site, they also get fed into a cloud-based application 
um, where you can review and control your site remotely as well. Um, this is also where all of our software tools um, live and, and those enable you, know, you to look into HVAC health reports, uh, remote diagnostics, and you can even see savings reports to, to see month to month um, what savings you've achieved through, through the point system. And lastly is our 24 seven service team. Um, they're available to assist with monitor with uh, site monitoring, troubleshooting, and really to help you optimize your equipment on site. And I wanna be very clear, it's a question I get all the time. Um, the grid point system is designed to maximize efficiency, but you will still have full control over your temperatures and your system. So the system actually, it increases your insights and your control capabilities. It does not take them away. I want to make that, make that point known. So as for what you will actually be receiving, this is kind of a, a closer image of the equipment on site. Um, so again, this is the energy controller right here. Um, it's a touchscreen device. It is web connected, uh, plugs right into your internet. And that's, like I said, kind of the brains of the operation right there. Um, these are kind of a view of our uh, thermostat and what's called a zone sensor. So they would sit in the same place that your, they would actually replace your existing thermostats um, or zone sensors if you have them. Um, and they do the environmental controls. You can do local controls from these as well, but you know these operate similarly to maybe how your, your thermostat might operate now, um, just with the, the enabled algorithms that GridPoint offers. Um, and then the third piece is the energy management platform and the services. So I'm showing us a snapshot of the mobile version, which is, I think, the most popular and most common, but you kind of get a sense of some of the tools that are available in here. Um, and it's just really nice to be able to, you know, have all the control that you have on site, right from your mobile device or, or desktop, if you prefer. And then the MERV 13 uh, HVAC air filter. So um, what does that really mean? Uh, the MERV, MERVs are rated between one and 16. Uh, so again, this is a MERV 13. And that's really based on the amount of air particles that get filtered out. Um, and the MERV 13, MERV 13 filter, it's a, it's a recommendation that's uh, followed by uh, ASHRAE for managing indoor air quality during a pandemic. So uh, when we go through the qualification process, as long as we have the dimensions of the filters in your units, and we'll be able to install the MERV 13s at no cost as well. All right, so um, you know who GridPoint is, uh, you know it's offered for no cost through the city of Palo Alto utility, and you know generally how the system works, but you know, what are the benefits? That's the big question. Um, well, first and foremost is always the energy savings. So typically we see about eight to 12% savings per month. And this is achieved through smart scheduling, um, advanced HVAC, you know, setback and recovery algorithms and override protections. Um, customer and employee comfort is incredibly important as well. And a lot of businesses, um, you know, we help them maintain comfortable set points while still being able to achieve the savings that you know, this, this whole program is designed to do. Um, and of course, operational insights for, and control. So for most businesses, and I mentioned this earlier, but HVAC really accounts for about 40 to 60% of your energy costs, but businesses really have no way of managing that cost. So now you'll be able to see, you know, what's going on in your business. You'll get notified of any issues and be able to control and manage one of your, your biggest business expenses. Um, some of the other major benefits of the grid point system are um, being able to help identify HVAC issues, uh, prioritize maintenance and certify the repair quality um, of whatever issue comes up uh, at, at your site and with your HVAC system. So I kind of liken that similarly to uh, a check engine light on if, if your car, you know, if something's wrong with your vehicle or services do, um, you want to know so that you can fix it before it becomes a bigger, more expensive problem. And GridPoint really helps you achieve that same, you know, proactive maintenance and troubleshooting with your HVAC before it becomes a bigger issue and interferes with, with you being able to run your, your core business. Um, and I always like to point out, you know, the extended equipment life as well. Um, HVAC is a very big uh, expense for businesses and, you know, depending on how you have it set up with your 
your landlord or if you own the building, you know, that's a big capital cost that really no business wants to incur. Um, and with some studies that we've done, you know, the grid point system helps businesses um, extend the life of that equipment by about 10%. So you can get a couple more years out of your equipment just by running it more efficiently. You know, that defers some, some big capital costs as well. And so in almost about 20 years of business, um, we've been fortunate really to work with some of the top brands in the country. And we're really proud to, you know, have thousands of happy customers across the country. Um, so just to give you an idea, I mean, we are in every Chipotle in the country. Um, we are rolling out in every Walgreens in the country. And we have about 2000 sites in California alone. Um, and though the, the name brands that are recognizable, you know, we've been just as, as successful helping hundreds of small and medium businesses achieve that same savings and that same operational control as some of the leading brands that you see here. Um, you know, you might think, well, I don't have the same budget or uh, as Chipotle, or they probably have an entire energy team. Um, and that's really the beauty of this program is that you get access to the same service and the same automated energy management platform um, and the same savings potential as well. But you're, um, you're getting the solution at no cost through the Business Advantage program uh, with Palo Alto Utilities. So it is a very generous program um, that your utility is offering. And we're really excited to be able to help businesses take advantage of the offer. So how do we get qualified here? Um, so this is a, it's a really simple process and, and you know, we've set it up to make it as easy as possible. Um, there are links to both on the city's website and our, on ours. Um, you'll see in the next slide what those links are as well. But uh, really a five step process here. Um, but we would just do a quick site qualification and we do this all online. Um, we just answer, ask a couple of questions over the phone. Nobody needs to come on site. Um, and we just collect data about how many thermostats you have, the type of the unit, um, some general business information to get you qualified. Um, and if you're qualified, then we can um, send over what's called a, a participation agreement. Um, you know, really just understanding that you want to participate in the program and you're okay having your thermostat uh, swapped out. And we send that to you online as well. Um, there's a, an online signing platform um, where you can click off in about six clicks um, to sign that sends you, you right back to us to get, get in line for the install. Um, and then in about typically four to six weeks, we would uh, schedule the install from, from signing to install. Um, and we'll reach out to you or your team directly, you know, to coordinate that day and time to make sure it's not uh, impacting, you know, what your, your core board, core businesses. Um, and then the fifth step, I don't know if it's even fair to call it a step, but um, you, from there, you, you know, you'd receive your free energy uh, management system and you start saving money really from day one. So, um, like I said, here are some of the links uh, to find out more about the program and to get qualified. Um, you can also Google uh, Palo Alto Business Advantage Program, um, and that'll take you to both the utilities landing page, um, as well as the grid point landing page where you can submit for that, that quick qualification. Um, you can call you know, myself or, or some of my colleagues at grid point at this number, uh, the 408 number that's listed there. Um, and we can take you through the online qualification in about 10 minutes. Um, I've also listed here, uh, Brian, Ward, Brian Ward, who's uh, an account manager for the city of Palo Alto. And he's really helping to run this program from the utility side. Um, and he's out in the field, you know, talking with, with businesses and um, I know he's answered some, some questions as well. So he's a, um, an asset here as well. Um, I do want to take just a quick moment to really thank Charlie. Um, for, and the Chamber of Commerce in total for you know, helping facilitate this whole lunch and learn and getting us, uh, getting us set up, it, it's much appreciated. Um, so um, that is uh, really the program in a nutshell. I, I figured there might be some questions. I know I ended uh, just a little bit early, but can stay on um, to answer any questions anybody might have. So thank you everybody for joining and uh, thank you again, Charlie, for setting this up.
Great. Thank you, Colin. We'll open it for questions now from any of the uh, business, business leaders on the call. But Colin, can you just go back to the process from the moment I fill out the qualification survey to the install and the return on the investment? Did you say the time frame is about four to six weeks? I did. There is no return on investment because we're not asking for any money. Uh, I'm sorry, the, the, when they start <laughs> to realize the savings. Of course, of course, yeah. So um, it's about four to six weeks to get installed. And then really after that first month, um, that's when they would start, uh, businesses would start seeing the savings from the system. So, so yes, the, the, the qualification piece, um, you know, from by the time you get on the phone with me, you can actually get enrolled in this program in about 10 minutes. Um, and then it will take about four, four to six weeks to get installed. And then you would start, you know, operating your system and seeing the savings. Great. Let's see, from um, Mr. Musgrave or Art Ramirez or Gemma, any questions from your end for your businesses? Yeah, I, in the beginning, I heard you talk a lot about small businesses for the HVAC. Um, what about commercial buildings with 840-ton train units up on the rooftop? And it's a constant volume building, so it's constantly pushing air down. 1970 was built this building and we have thermostats off of a pneumatic compressor with a reading coil box did that all work with this yeah or i believe you're um you are with Gemma as well is that correct with NLP? yeah Check. Gemma. yes yeah she had to step out oh okay um I, I did speak with Gemma uh last week i believe and i think my colleague did as well um so the, the simple answer to your question is that um, typically one HVAC unit, be it on the roof or a split system, um, is controlled by one thermostat. Um, I know you're kind of a one-off situation in, in a bigger facility where you have, you know, VAVs, you have different equipment that I believe you have 30 something thermostats, but only about eight units or so, if I'm really? remembering correctly. Yeah. Um, so because of some of the other equipment that you have on site and, you know, really the size of your business, um, I think we determined, unfortunately, Art, that it's actually not qualified for the program. Okay. Okay. Um, so I apologize to no, no, let you down okay. publicly. Thank you. No, no, that's okay. But, um, yeah, I think we did speak yesterday. I was with Gemma. Was it you or some, maybe your colleague or somebody? Yeah, that was my colleague, Robert. He's actually yeah. up there. Uh, okay. Right okay. Well, thank you for your time, guys. I really appreciate it. All right, Art. Thanks for joining. Take care. Bye-bye. Yeah, and then I don't have any questions because I've been working with Robert and he was able to answer everything. And then he and Brian both came into our office this morning and just, you know, checked everything out and make sure everything was going to um, work well. So I, I just I just signed the agreement this um, after a meeting with him. Yeah, we saw that come through. So thanks, Thomas. Um, we'll get you going in a couple of weeks here. Sounds great. Thanks. Colin, I think that probably wraps it up. I think everyone has gotten their questions answered. And Great. We'll look. Uh, we'll look forward to getting this information out to the other businesses through uh, through our website and certainly through the City of Palo Alto utilities.